I want to play this video for you. This is Canadian Conservative Party leader, and I know I can do this, Pierre Poilive. I think I got it. I think that's his name. Poilive. Anyway, he's a Canadian Conservative Party leader, and he's gone viral with um, for a positive reason. We don't see, it's, 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 it's pretty uncommon that we see a viral video out of Canada that's going viral for positive reasons, but in this case, uh, that's what happened. Here he is in an exchange with uh, some local media flack, and I think the way that he handles this is pretty brilliant. Watch this. Um, on the on the topic, I mean, in terms of your sort of strategy currently, you're obviously taking the populist uh, pathway. Um, what does that mean? <laughs> well, ap- appealing appealing to people's uh, more emotional levels, I would guess. Um, I mean, what certainly, you mean certainly, you, certainly, you tap, certainly, you tap, certainly, you tap very strong ideological language quite frequently. Like what? Uh, left wing, you know, this and that, right wing. You know, I mean, it's that that type I of ideological thing. About, I never really talk about left but or right. Anyways, a lot I don't of people really believe in that. Okay, a lot of people would would say that you're simply taking a page out of the Donald Trump uh, well, book. Like which people would say that? Well, I'm sure a great many Canadians, but. Like who? <laughs> I don't know who, but... Well, you're um, the one who asked the question, so yeah. I, you must know somebody. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm sure there's some out there, but anyways, the, the, point of this, the point of this question is, I mean, why should, why should Canadians trust you with their vote, given, you know, not, not just the sort of ideological inclination in terms of taking the page of Donald Trump's book, but also... What are you also, talking about? What page? What page? Can you give okay. me a page? Give me the page. You keep <laughs> in, saying in terms, that. In terms of tur- turning things quite dramatically in terms of, of Trudeau and, and the left wing and all of this, I mean, you, you, you make quite a, you know, it's, it's quite a play that you make on it. So I'm, I'm not sure. I don't, under, I don't know what your question okay. is. Okay, then forget that. Why should Canadians trust you with their vote? Common sense. Okay. common sense for, for a change. We're going to make common sense common in this country. We don't have any common sense in the current government. You know, the guy prints $600 billion, grows our money supply by 32% in three years. That's growing the money eight times faster than the economy. No wonder we have the worst defla- inflation in four decades. I'm going to cap spending, cut waste, so that we can balance the budget and bring down inflation and interest rates. You'll want to be able to pay your mortgage again. You want to be able to afford rent. Then you have to vote for Pierre Polyev because I'm the only one with a common sense plan that will bring back the buying power of your paycheck. Polyev, I think is how I pronounced it. I'm going to go with my pronunciation. Anyway, that was uh, that that was very well done, and uh, it's un- it's sort of a unfortunate that we have to be so. Im- impressed with that exchange, not because it was not impressive, but because uh, this is how you know, this is how every conservative politician and every conservative in general should respond in these kinds of situations. Um, and this, this is what the media does, right? They'll, they ask you a question, uh, but it's not, it's, not, it's not a question. The question is always, it's always loaded, and they always build it from a false premise. And so they do exactly what this guy did, where they say, well, this is who you are, and this is what you believe, and it's totally false. And then, and so, therefore, here's my question. Well, most conservatives, what we've seen historically, is that they'll let them get away with the false premise, and then they'll just launch off into some speech, you know, uh, a- answering or not answering the question. But he's not going to let them get away with it. So, it, and you don't have to do much. It's not you don't have to. It, well, the other thing is he's, he's not doing is he's not arguing against the false premise. He's not, because then he's on the defensive. So this is what he did that was, uh, that was quite, quite skillful. Is he's exposing the false premise, but he's not arguing against it. Because if you argue against it, then, then you're on the defensive. It looks like you are, like you're guilty, like you have something, a reason to defend yourself. All he's doing is he's asking, well, where'd you get that from? You know, as, 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 I've, as we've talked about plenty of times, these are the most, some of the most powerful questions that you can ask someone. One is, what do you mean by that? And we've seen that with a what is a woman question. Just You say you're a woman, what do you mean by that? Simple question. It's a very fair question. It's not a gotcha question. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that, and where did you get that? 
Why are you saying that? What do you mean by that? Where did you get that from? Who told you that? Why are you saying that? These, these kinds of, the, the most basic sorts of questions you could possibly ask. And what you find is that uh, these people cannot answer them. People always say, happy dog, happy life. Well, if that's really the case, you need to be uh, giving your dog rough greens. Naturopathic Dr. Dennis Black, the founder of Rough Greens, is focused on improving the health of every dog in America. Before I started feeding my dog rough greens, I had no idea that dog food is dead food. It contains very little nutritional value. Think about it. Nutrition isn't brown, it's green. Well, let Rough Greens bring your dog's food back to life. Rough Greens is a supplement that contains all of the necessary vitamins, minerals, probiotics, omega oils, digestive enzymes, and antioxidants that your dog needs. You don't have to go out and buy new dog food. You just sprinkle Rough Greens on their food every day. Dog owners everywhere are raving about Rough Greens. It supports healthy joints, improves bad breath, boosts energy levels, and so much more. Uh, we are what we eat, and that goes for dogs too. Naturopathic Dr. Dennis Black is so confident that Rough Greens will improve your dog's health. He's offering my listeners a free jumpstart trial bag so your dog can try it. A free Jumpstart trial bag can be at your door in just a few business days. Go to roughgreens.com slash matt or call 844-ROUGH-700. It's R-U-F-F, greens.com slash matt or call 844-ROUGH-700 today. Because this guy, he's starting from a false premise. Uh, you're a fascist, you're this or that, you're a radical. Uh, he, he, he doesn't even know where he got it. This is just a, this is a, an impression. that he's, this, this is something that he's absorbed, Right? He's absorbed it from the atmosphere. He has no idea where he got it. And so if you ask these basic questions, where did you get that from? What do you mean by that? Why are you saying that? It all starts to fall apart and break down. With almost no effort on Pierre's part. Eating the apples a nice touch. Usually I'm very much against people uh, eating while speaking or eating in public at all where I have to see it, eating on camera. But in this case, it was a nice touch because it, it helped. It, you know, it just it helped with this kind of casual vibe, where he was totally unbothered. Uh, like politicians, Republican politicians in this country should should take note. Hey, YouTube! Thanks for listening to the show. If you'd like access to my full show with no ads, you should go to DailyWire.com and use promo code Walsh to get two months free on all annual plans. See you there.